What's up guys? This is the first episode of a new series where I talk about new methods I'm thinking of. Uh, so... This one's for big cubes. So... And... 3 by 3 Uh... Most people use F12, so... I'll just do a quick example solve. So you solve the cross, and then you solve F12 pairs, like that. Here's another one, like that. So I've been thinking, like, we'll we use that technique on two things like 4x4. Four four. So, uh, instead of the cross, you solve a center, and then you would build pairs around the center. Now I mess around with this a lot, and... Those work pretty well, but the problem is that um, there's not that much flexibility. So uh, let's say you got all the cr um, the edge F4 pairs kind of like that, and then the corner F4 pairs are much harder because uh, they're just uh, you need to connect these two edges and this corner together, and that just is a mess. So I've been thinking. Like, we'll use this to, uh, only use the edge F12 pieces, kind of, and then use the out for the rest. So, I'll give you an example. Alright, so let's get started. Let's build a white center first. So here we are with the white center. And now we have the white center. We're gonna start putting some F12 pairs, F3 out pairs in this case. So, uh, not sure how to really start this, but I can just start putting pieces together. Like we got this edge and this, uh, this center, this edge, and we can go put this in together like this. There we go. Uh, here's another one. Pair together, insert. We saw this. Uh, this one's pretty nice. You can just go like this. The pair together. Uh, it's not in the right position, so. There we go. We put it there. Um, these two and this. So we got two pieces now. Uh, we got the blue here. Now the blue goes in the back. So we'll put it in the back. Like that. Uh, the other blue. The piece is right here. And we'll just insert it in the back like that. And just green. So we got that edge piece here. Insert it. And the last one. Look at this, edge piece in the back, and insert it together, and we're done with that, and we can slice and do the regular stuff. Alright, I'm going to do a quick time comparison, and I'll be using Yao on one of them, and the other method with this one. So, I'm going to start with Yao. That's 32, but I messed up a lot because of the camera on the way, but that's fine. And for the other method,
37. So, uh, this method's okay, but Yao is definitely much better. But you have to take this into consideration that I used this method for a few days and I used Yao for a few years now. So, um, I looked through the move counts and they're pretty similar. I think Yao is still better, but uh, this can still work potentially. So, leave your thoughts in the comments. So, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.